I need to refurb this phone here and there's a new screen and the new battery. Here's a new screen, here's a new battery. Why don't you stick around? We'll show you how to do it. Now, when I purchased this battery, this is a Base Us one, which I got from, I think it's from AliExpress. Yeah, I got it from AliExpress. And it looks like a really quality battery. It's like, you know, it's all nicely done. It's probably one of the nicest ones I've ever received, I have to say. And it also came with um, stick down strips, as you normally get, and also a nice little toolkit. So I'm going to use a toolkit to open this phone up. This um, screen came with another package. This also looks like it's a high quality screen. It's the old Tech HK. I guess it's from Hong Kong, is it? And it's got a screen, and we've got a screen protector and a little bumper case, which all came with it for free. So, um, the screen I think was actually, I don't remember how much it was now, not that expensive, but the more you pay, the better quality you're getting it. So, this wasn't the cheapest screen. I always tend to buy like the middle of the road, maybe the higher ones, you know what they look like, and um, same for the batteries as well. This is, a, this is one of the most expensive batteries on there, so you get the quality you pay for. Okay, so sometimes it's being cheap doesn't pay. Let's get on with this. So I need to get the screen off first before I can do anything. Um, I'll need a couple of things. I need to get my stand so when I get the screen open I can fold it up and get it out of the way whilst I disconnect it. So I need to get a little stand for that and I'll show you how to do it in a second. And also um, I have to disconnect the battery straight away as well. So once I get it open, get the battery disconnected so it's safe, there's no power running through the phone, then I can take the screen off without blowing anything up. And then we'll basically take this battery out, we'll put the new battery in, replace the screen assembly. Well, I have to strip parts of this one, put it onto the new screen. So I'll show you how to do the whole process. I'm going to cover the whole thing. Okay, so let's get started. So I've got the tools out, ready to go. Typically, the process is you'll get a suction cup, stick on the screen if you can. We usually, when a crash, you can't do it so easily, but this one might have some area where I can do it. Then we'll see you then get a little spudger, which you then run around the edge to get the screen lifted and you lift it up this way. On this particular phone, don't forget this is 6S Plus, right? So it folds that way. Some newer phones fold that way instead. Um, so the screwdrivers we have here is a Pentalobe 0.8mm and a Posi Drive or Crosshead, whatever you want to call it, 1.5mm. So that's for the internal screws. And this is for the screws at the bottom of the phone. Let's get the screws at the bottom of the phone first. Now, one thing you've got to be careful of when you actually get in here, I mentioned it now in case I forget to mention it later on. And that's that when you're doing the screen connections, there's different sizes of screw. And you have to make sure you put the correct screws back in the correct places. If you do the wrong one, you can destroy your phone from long screw damage. There's some screws in, I think it's 1.3, 1.6, and uh, 3 millimeters, I think it is. So you have to make sure you put those screws back in the same places they come from. All right, so that's those two screws there out. So now we stick a suction cap on there. And we'll start with this and we'll see if this will actually pull it up. Sometimes this is enough without having to use the um, spudger, but we'll give it a go. Now that's because it's cracked, it's going to be troublesome. Yeah, that's not going to do it too easily, I don't think. It's sucking air through the crack. So, spudger it is. Let's see if we can get it in here and get it started. Once you get it started, then you're all right. Here we go. That's in, and it's back out. <laughs> get it back in, all right. Work your way around the sides. Let's try and get it started now. Because it's all cracked, it could well go everywhere in this case. I recommend you wear glasses when you're doing this. Um, if they're cracked like this, here we go, that's that side up, as you can see. Because um, if you get gl glass that goes flying off, it could hit you in the eye. It can easily happen. Um, gloves might be an idea too if you're worried about possibly getting glass fragments in your fingers. There we go. Right. So that's now starting to come off. And now we just lift it. And it will just work its way up. Just let, it, let the glue around the outside just give way. Okay, and there we go. There's the inside. Now this battery is slightly bulged, so yes, it does need replacement. This is my stand, which is a pan of ice. I'm going to shove this around the screen like that to hold it up. Now, so the first thing I'll do now is take these screws out here and disconnect the battery. All right, screwdriver here. Let's get these screws out. What I tend to do is I lay these screws out in a sequence on my bench. I lay the screws and all the plates and stuff like that all in the order they come out in the shape they come out in. You know, some people just grab all the screws and put them back in again knowing which ones go where but I tend to do that because screws are different sometimes. 
like these two screws here, the right screw is slightly shorter than the left screw. The right screw is slightly shorter than the, right, than the left screw. So I'll make sure I'll put them in the same order. This plate here will come off. Like that. And here's the connectors. So that's the battery connector there. Now we need to use a plastic spudger. And you have to get underneath here and just pop that up. Now don't dig in deep or anything. You just got to get it just underneath the connector. And there we go. All right, so that's up. If you dig on too deep, you can actually damage your connectors um, or break components of the circuit board, that kind of thing. The same thing goes when you do the screen up here. So that's the battery off, so it's now safe, at least as safe as that is. Now we've got to come up here and take this plate here off. Okay, so this has got the LCD connections and stuff underneath it. So you've got the display connection, the touch, camera, um, I don't know, it's four plugs on here, I think. It's four plugs. So we'll get that off. And again, don't forget, these screws are different sizes. I think the longest one is over here. I think that's the longest screw there. And I think these three here are the same size. And then that was a different size there, if I remember rightly. Okay. But like I said, I'm going to take these out and keep them in the same order, in the same placement as I've taken them out from. So that's quite a short screw. Look like a 1.3. That looks about the same. Screw here at the top corner, so I'm trying to sort of not be in view of the in the way of the camera, but it's not necessarily possible. And that's another short screw, another 1.3 blocks of it. And we have this middle screw here. It also looks like a short screw. So yeah, go figure. They're all very similar lengths, but I'm pretty sure there is one which is slightly longer. And then we've got this one though on here, which is supposed to be three millimeters and yes indeed it is longer. I'll put that over there in the order they came out in. As long as I don't nudge them I know where they all came from. Okay so that's that. Now I've got to take these flexes off here and this is just like I did the back tube one. Just get underneath it gently and pop it up. Uh, I'm not too worried about these actual flexes themselves because say we're replacing the screen anyway. There is one you have to be careful of, which is on this back plate so we do want to uh, make sure we don't damage them just in case it's one we want to keep. Get under there. there we go, set one. We've got this one over here. This is just three, but it's just the screen's still stuck down. There we go. Alright, so that's the screen off. Now there's a little bit of dust and bits and stuff in here. I could probably just go around and give you a bit of spruce up, try and get a bit of fluff out from in here. There is a little bit of this connector here which I just pulled off and it just fell in, so I need to make sure I get all those bits off. I'll give it a clean up before we put it back together. Okay, so anyway, so that's the screen off. And we have to actually strip down this assembly as well as part of the screen. So what we've actually got to do, we've got to take all this section here apart and also got to take the home button out as well. So we'll get to that shortly. First thing I'm going to do is change the battery out of this. So one of the hardest things to do with this is actually get the battery out. Okay, because the batteries stick in there very hard. Um, they put these adhesive strips in here, which you can see I'm just trying to peel up now my fingernail. And they're actually um, removable strips. So you can grab hold of that and pull. Now sometimes putting some alcohol inside will help it if it's a bit troublesome. Feels like it's going all right though. So we'll see how we go. So this just stretches out and we'll just, it's pulling up underneath the battery. Okay you can see I'm just doing that there. Putting it sideways it just means it doesn't have to travel so far when I'm, as I'm pulling it out means it's less likely to fail. Okay. Now I'll do this slowly because I don't I want it to sort of creep out and just come out. If I do it fast it might actually snap. Okay. This is an original Apple battery so it's likely to have been in here from new. So that's one strip off. Now what I might do, it did feel a little bit tight, so I think I might put a little bit of alcohol underneath it. What it, just, it does, it just helps to soften the adhesive slightly and um, helps them to come out. So I'm just going to put a little bit in there and it will run underneath the battery and just help them to relax a little bit. It won't do any harm. Just have to make sure we don't get it up in this area here. You mustn't get it over the camera, otherwise it might get inside it. So I'm just running it down this way a little bit. 
Okay, I'm just trying to get under the battery, that's all. And it evaporates off by itself anyway. So now we go to the next one. Get this next strip off. Now some people actually like wind it, wind it around their tweezers and stuff like that. And um, there's different techniques. I'll just basically grab up my fingers and, and pull basically, that's what I do. So that's the intention, so these little black tabs will get down out of the way. And hopefully we can grab this. This is probably the hardest bit, I'm showing I'm gonna grab my tweezers. Just to grab it, get it out. Okay, there you go. Get started. This one's kind of a bit easier because I put the alcohol in there. I feel a bit more comfortable about putting it harder. Okay, almost there. Okay, and one more. This one I'm going to try and pull sideways as well. I'm going to put it this way. That's kind of nice and easy. It's going to hold the battery because it might fly off otherwise. There we go, out. So the alcohol did make that a lot easier. So now the battery can come out. And what we'll do now is we'll just um, soak the alcohol up. In case it runs somewhere I don't want to go. I mean it'll evaporate off anyway, so I'm not too worried. You just don't need to get into the camera. So here we go, that's basically gone anyway. Not a problem. So there was some fluff and stuff around here, so I might just get that bit of a wipe with that. Try and pick it up. Right, so that's ready for the battery to go back in now. Okay, now so the new battery did come with some strips. Now because these are always so hard to get out. What I've started to do is actually put less strips in, so they can be three or two for a smaller phone. So what you're going to do is I'm going to start putting in one less strip, all right? So for a big battery like this, I'm only going to put two strips in because that seems to hold it just fine. And then for a, a, another phone which might normally have two, I only put one down the middle, for example. That seems to hold it fine. I've never had any issues with coming loose. So that's what I've started to do, just to make it easier for the next person that has to come and change it. They're not always as easy as this to get out. Sometimes they can be a real pain if the strips snap and that sort of thing. Um, then you've got to try and leave the battery out and it's not very nice. <laughs> so that's what I thought of doing anyway. So to get the next battery, we'll get that set up and we'll carry on. Okay, so here's the new battery. The first thing I'm going to do is just fit it roughly and make sure it looks like it's the correct one. Just in case there's been some kind of mix up, it can happen. Um, but that looks absolutely fine. It looks exactly right. So the next thing I'll do is put these strips on this side here. All right, so here's two strips. So I've taken one of the strips off. Now what you're supposed to do with these, it's got these black tab parts here. They, they fold over the battery, right? So you're supposed to peel this piece here off. Like this. Fortunately, the light's on it a little bit. And then you place the battery on top in the correct orientation. So this is the correct way up. That's the way up it's going to go inside the case. So we have to put this down hopefully straight on these to allow those tabs to be folded up okay so you put it line up on there like that and that's kind of straight it's close enough it's ish all right then just rub those down get them all on there all nicely firmly bedded down all right shouldn't really be a problem anyway this is pretty sticky now all we've got to do then is when we go to put this in he's got a pill but we've got to fold these over here, we've got to peel this other tab here off. Get them folded around the battery. Okay. So then we can get them on. We'll get them back off again. Right. Like that. Okay, so those tabs folded over. So they're ready for the next person needs to come along and take them off. They've got to peel those straps off and do what I just did before with the other battery. Get those out. Now, we've got to peel this tab off and put it into the phone. This is the bit you don't want to mess up. <laughs> it's quite important to try and make sure you can get the alignment right. So let's just replace it here. Get it. It does have a little bit of play, usually side to side. For example, there you can see it's got some play there. Right. You have to make sure that the battery connector lines up beautifully. Right. That's the important thing. Sometimes I need to kink around a bit more and that sort of stuff and to get them lined up. But as long as there's a bit of a gap there, you've got some play to do it. So I'm going to actually stick this slightly to the left. All right. Kind of in the middle, but slightly to the left, I think. That's what I'm going to aim for. We'll see if we can get it there. So put the strips off. Place it 
place the end in, slightly to the left, and try and get it straight and drop it in. I want to leave a slight gap down this side so when, I, when whoever gets to take the strips back out again they've got a gap to bring it up the side like I did with the other battery. Okay, now that's in. Done. Now I'm not going to hook it up yet because obviously you've got to do the screen. But that's that part of it completed. Okay, so now it's time to do the screen. First thing you should always do is compare the screens to make sure that the one you've been supplied is the correct one. Again, mistakes can happen. You can order one one or a supplier might send the wrong one, that kind of thing. So I just do a visual inspection first to make sure they look about the same. Okay, kind of important. That all seems to match up. That looks fine. Okay, so I think we're pretty safe there. Now there's a few things you have to do. So you've got to transfer the home button over. You have to take away all this assembly up here and transfer it onto this one as well. There's also those red backing on here. That needs to be peeled off before we can put this plate on. This plate here that's on the back has to come onto here too. Right, so there's a few things you have to do. So we have to dismantle the home button first. We'll get that out of the way. So I might just change camera view slightly here, give you a better view. Now these home buttons are very fragile. I highly recommend you be extremely careful with them. <laughs> because you don't want to break one, right? There's a little flex here, there's a, a little circuit board just here which is stuck down and the button itself is also stuck down around the outside. So there's a few things you have to do here. Okay, we need to get a plastic spudger again. You can use your fingernail but I've got a spudger so I'm going to use that. We've got a connector here you have to pop up. So there's a flex here from the back plate. You see my spudders in between the two. So I'll try and get those two separated without damaging anything. Okay, so I'm trying to achieve there. So let's just get this, try and hold that down gently with the back of that and pop that up. Here we go. Right. Now we've got it separated. Alright, so there's the original home button, there's the original flex. So we'll go back together again on the other screen assembly. Okay. So that's that part. Now we've got a circuit board here to try and get out. I'm going to use this little plastic spudger here. It's got adhesive underneath it. Again, be very careful. That's up. Now, sometimes you can push this home button straight out without a problem. Sometimes you have to be um, use a bit of heat, just a little bit of heat, just to help soften the glue up. Let's just see how we go. Yep, that's coming. Just take it nice and slow, you don't force it, because you don't want to damage the rubber. Okay. Now it's out. Now this has got some of the assembly broken off with it. We'll get that out. It's a glass. Okay, that's got to, that's got to stay. That's not going back in with it. Don't want to have bits like that stuck in there because it's not good for it. We've got to go. Otherwise oh, what happened is we'll end up getting dust in there. Right. What's that there? Mm. This button's not in great condition, but there's not much I can do about it because you can't replace them. Let's refit this to the other screen. Let's get located. Locate the circuit board here first. It's got like a little pin here. There's like a little locating pin here which goes through this hole and a flex just there. Right. So pop this back out, it's not supposed to be behind it. There's two of those, so you get those lined up. I did have it in my place, but I just moved it and I was moving that flex that way. There we go, so that's both of those. Now give it a push down with your finger nice and gently. Careful not to catch on anything. Now this one's actually got this reassembly on it, which has got the flex already in there. They don't always have that. Now the button should be in alignment now, so we just gently push that in, make sure it's bedded in properly all around the sides. Let's check the button itself. Yeah, that looks okay. So we get the plate for the button, which will go over there. We'll pop these together. Now again, you've got to be really careful with these to not force them, get them lined up. Things are pretty fragile. And it's one of these things you just take your time with trying to get lined up. They don't always go back exactly the way you want them to. Okay, I think that's in there now. It's a bit finicky getting in there, but uh, we'll see how we go. 
let's just try the alignment of this, see if it feels like it's right or not, once I've got it pushed in. Okay, got it in, it's all located, so I've got one screw in the plate here already, put the other one in. That, that's all good, right, so that should click as I when I test it. Yep, it clicks, that's all fine. So next thing we need to do is pull apart this top assembly on this piece, transfer that into here as well. I'll move this over first, then we've got to do this back plate that's on here as well. So this has got a few screws in here again. Okay, so we've got one screw here. One there. Just slightly longer. And that one there. Which is also slightly longer. So it's got those two there look like about the same length, these two, and that one there is shorter. So we've got a metal plate over the top, which has got all the Stuff stuff them off it, so it's upside down now. Metal plate. Here's the cambio assembly, earpiece. Let's get the earpiece out, fish it out. Okay, so the earpiece assembly. Let's put it down slightly, shall we? Get more of it in shot. Right, there's the earpiece assembly here. There's the plate which is upside down, let's put it back up the way, so I was a bit confused. Okay, and this is the camera assembly which I have to then fish out. I've got to get a bit under here. I'll fish this microphone part out. Because it is stuck down with glue. Again, you'll be careful with these, otherwise you end up ripping the leads on them. So it's one of these things. There's lots of, lots of care required. You don't rush it, you just take your time. Okay, starting to move. All right, that's that part out. That's the uh, microphone and everything on there. So we've also got to get out what's required here. So let's see. This one does actually have the plastic bezel in here. They don't always come with that, so there's a better quality phone to have that. You see, sometimes you have to get this bezel here, transfer it over as well. Sometimes you just do the same thing with rubber. But in this case, we don't need to. Okay, so that's pretty straightforward. We'll just do that transfer onto this phone here, onto this um, screen assembly. And then we can do that last piece. Okay. Um, actually, I'm going to take this... this Film here off, take that off now. Let's get that out of the way. So the back plate's got screws in it, you have to take out one there. In fact, one of them goes under the home button, so I should probably have to put that back in again. Should have thought about that first, didn't I? It's fine. These should all be the same screw anyway. But just out of, out of course, I always lay them out. I think that's all the screws. So there's a plate which you have to put onto this one. So you can see here the way they've got it arranged. So it just, just sits under there. Now this one's actually not stuck down. Let's take it off. So I'll put this down. So it goes underneath the shield, just like it did on the original screen. Now you've got to take this home button and cover back off again because I well, at least get that screw out and slide this back under. Show what I'm doing here. Right, I'm supposed to get underneath that home button shield there. Slide it under there. Just like that. I'll screw back in again. OK, 
Okay, now I'll put these other screws here back in again. Sits up there. You don't have to do this very tight, you just have to uh, make sure they're not loose basically. I'll show you the last one so you can see what I'm doing. All right, so it's just sitting in the frame like that. Just like that. I'm just making sure to push down at the same time. Okay, so that's the, the back plate on there. Now we can go back to putting the camera back together. Okay, so have a quick look at it first to make sure there's no debris on it. Looks okay. Now what we've got in here there's a stick-on piece, well, an adhesive piece here, like we had before. We had to prise that little uh, optical sensor, or sorry, the microphone um, out of there. So there's a sticky piece there. We've got to put the microphone back on that. So then there's a little post there. We've got the microphone. It's got to push over that to align it. So we're going to try and okay. All right, so you can see there's a little post right there. Okay. And you've got the hole in the camera there, or the microphone. Keep calling it bloody camera. The microphone's got to sit over the hole. All right, to locate it. And then push it down. Because they've got the adhesive off, so it'll just sit on that quite nicely. Don't use something sharp to push it down. It can cause some damage. Then we've got these other bits we've got to put in. So we've got the light sensor. And stuff just here we've got to go into these two holes and in the camera which was got to go in afterwards as well so put those in there first get those lined up into those holes okay so i'll try and get those popped into there okay they should just sit in there and locate so we've got the earpiece just to see if that needs a bit of a clean A bit of fluff on there, it's not too bad. They do get dirty. It's looking alright. So I'll pop that back in. This wheel gets a bit fiddly because we've got to get everything lined up exactly right. <laughs> okay, so we've got those pushed into place. We've got the earpiece, which I'm now going to locate into the slot with that protrusion, hopefully. Which should also line to those screw holes. Got two screw holes there. All right, so I should be able to wiggle that to get that to bed in, to sit inside that slot. It can be a bit of a pain getting it lined up. If you get it wrong, it won't work very nicely. And this is going to be a pain, isn't it? Of course it is. Okay, I think that's in there. So I'm just wiggling it around to try and help it to get in there. But it's not done it yet. Okay, that might be it. So you put this down over the top. And it's got some pins on the back of that which go through this flex as well, just like that. Line the camera up. It drops into there. Put my plate over. This is always the bit I have trouble with, is this fiddly base here, you know? This is always the worst bit to do. Here we go, it's looking like it's lining up. It's wiggling around, yep, all good. Let's get a screw in.
دیگه Right, that's that back together. Just having a good look to make sure it looks like it's straight and that sort of stuff, not being held up. I think we're alright. Okay, so I think we can actually now start putting the phone back together. Okay, so that's the first thing I'll do is get this screen to sit in about the right place. Leave the mount on there like that. And you've got to get all these flexes back in, in the right order. So I've got to do this one first. Now don't push in the middle of the flex, try and push on the end of a flex if you can where the actual connector is and it should just pop in and this, once you're sure they're in they should just click a little bit, they don't always click they should but they don't always do it and we've got um, this one should be underneath this flex I've got those back to front, I need to fix that ok, you have to be in a certain order otherwise you're going to have problems so this flex here, which is the camera flex, so the um, is it the camera, no, the camera, the camera one's that one there, the smaller one, right? Camera earphone piece. This needs to be on top of all the other flexes, okay? So let's just fold that around like that. So it's going to sit like this instead, okay? That way you got them in the right order, so you can plug them in. So that one there is the um, display flex. So let's try and get that lined up. Very important you don't do that with the battery plugged in. If you miss the line, you'll, you'll damage something. Okay, let's try and get this plugged in. Again, this is always a bit, which is a bit of a pain, just getting these connectors in. Some people just do it and they just go straight in. It's like, oh, where did you get that? <laughs> you know, um, there we go. That's it, that's it. So that's those two in. Just make sure this one definitely feels like it's in. Yep. Then we'll do the camera one. The earpiece one, what you want to call it. And get that lined up. And Come on, in you go. Don't rush it, don't force it. When it's ready to go in, it will go in. There we go, that popped. So I think that's okay. Feels alright. So what we can do now is actually before we physically put it back together properly, so we can plug the battery back in. We'll plug, plug the battery in. Right, because it's the first time it's been plugged in. That lined up beautifully, that one. That's good. And we'll see if we can get the power up. And if it does power up, if it works. Okay, you have a screen. That's a good start. <laughs> Let's check touch to make sure that works. Okay. Um, touch is working. Let me put the code in. Where is, where's the code? I've got it written down there somewhere. Home button's working. Okay, we are in. So that's unlocked. That's fine. You see touch is working. Whole screen. Yep, it's all good. So I'm happy with that. Um, let's turn this back off. Then we'll put the, the uh, plates back in again. So we've got to now put this plate back in the top here. Again, we've got to make sure we use all the correct screws. Now before I do that, I'm going to take the battery back out. Okay, because if I drop it in the wrong place or possibly short something out, it would be bad. It would be very bad. Let's put that back out again. It's a precaution. Place to play it safe. Don't forget to make sure you put the correct screws in the correct places. As I said, super important. So you have to be careful not to stretch this flex. I'm, getting straight. I'm trying to hold my screwdriver out of the way so you can see, but it doesn't mean they go in too easily. And this isn't in focus, is it? Of course not. Alright, so it's that plate on. Now we can do the battery one again. Alright, so put the battery back in. Battery plate. Your right hand screw. 
And I could have done this faster if I wasn't trying to sort of show you guys what I was doing and showing you, or show you how to do it, you know. Could have done it faster than this. It's a bit different when you're trying to show it. That's that one. So that's that all back together. So now I need to put the screw back together. So it's got like hooks in the top of the screen. So I'll show you on this one. So it's got these hooks in here. All right, so they hook into the frame. I'll try and get over the shot. There we go. All right. So I have to make sure we hook those in first. All right, get those in there, like that. Those are hooked in. And then just gently push the sides in a little bit at a time, all the way down. All right, don't try and do one lot too much, otherwise it will end up cracking the screen or something. All right. You have to make sure you push upwards to make sure it's lining up. It's going in there. Same this side, just try and keep it nice and even, it's nice and gentle. Alright. And she's in. And she's on. Because <laughs> I just leaned on the button. <laughs> That's okay. Just making sure it's all bed in nicely. Alright. We'll put these um load screws back in and that's that job done well of course we can still, still got screen protectors and stuff on here as supplied with the uh, screen so we'll, we'll put those in of course you know why not Job done. I hope you found that interesting. Make sure you subscribe, hit the bell icon, that sort of stuff, and share the video with your friends. If anyone wants to know how to replace an iPhone 6S Plus screen, the process is very similar for most iPhones. They're all very similar. Um, again, you have to watch out for screw lens, that sort of stuff. And um, make sure you click the bell icon to get notified about new videos. And uh, if you want to buy parts for your iPhone, check out the links down below in the description. I do have links there to buy these parts which I've used in this repair and as well as any other tools and stuff I have my electronics workbench here. So thank you much and I'll catch you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.